Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm Jody. I'm Teresa. And this is our Boundless Ventures. And the Ventures today is we got some disappointing news about our storage unit. We have an update on the RV. Uh, I'll get to that later. Uh, right now we're on our way to pick up a U-Haul trailer to go back to Indiana so we can retrieve what's left, what's left of our belongings. Uh, we got a call from the storage facility saying that our unit was broken into. So once we get there, uh, we'll bring you guys along. Stay tuned. So we're here at the U-Haul place, picking up the U-Haul. That'll bring you guys along. It'll be one of these little trailers here. Let's go check them out. So we're outside of Lancaster, Ohio. You can see we got the U-Haul in tow uh, on the way to empty out a storage unit. So, yep, uh, next stop will be a hotel in Elkhart. So we'll see you guys in a minute. And if you guys haven't yet, and you're full time, you have a diesel pickup or a diesel motorhome, we highly recommend uh, the TSD Open Roads card. Uh, it's free to sign up. You, you could save a minimum. We've saved a minimum of 40 cents a gallon, and I've saved up to over a dollar a gallon. So we highly recommend it. It's not sponsored in any way. I don't have a link. Maybe I'll reach out to them and see if I can get one. But it's still worth it. So we'll catch you guys here in a minute at the hotel. Hey everybody, made it to the hotel room. Uh, so we go tomorrow, talk to the storage unit people, uh, file our police report, and uh, we're also going to stop by Keystone, uh, see if we can look at the rig, see what's going on, bring you guys a good update on that. But it's late, and I think we're going to turn in for the night, and uh, we'll Catch you guys in the morning. Well, we made it to our storage unit. Uh, not, <laughs> not even sure if I'm up to recording this video right now. I'm a little upset to say the least, but I'll, I'll show you around, show you what we found. The door in. It's the old storage unit. We're on the inside unit. Back door. This is our unit. Teresa's inside. It's not pretty. Hmm. This this is what they did. We had all this stuff in totes, vacuum packed. It's a miracle. Our e-bikes are still here. Yeah, we got helmets. You know, all Jody's tools is gone. Every bit of his tools is gone. I'm going to give it back to Jody. Trifling world we live in. Trifling. We'll come back. We're waiting on the management to get here we'll come back hey guys so we got the u-haul loaded uh, we're headed back uh, I think we uh, it turned out okay uh, we don't think anything is missing but we stuffed a 4x8 u-haul trailer let me tell you 
front to back. So when we uh, get it home, well, our temporary home, we'll unload it, reorganize, and probably purge again because we have time. But uh, I'll pick it back up when uh, we get home, and uh, I'll fill you in what we're on what we found out about the RV. All right, see you guys in a little bit. All right, everybody. So we're back. We're back at our temporary residence. Uh, we got the U-Haul unloaded. No issues. We made it back safe and sound. No issues on the road. Um, we just got to reorganize <clears throat> our belongings. Uh, fortunately, nothing of ours was stolen. Uh, if it is missing, then it, you know, it was something insignificant and we wouldn't miss it anyway. But there was a few other units that were hit. I'm not going to mention the name of the storage unit. It's not their fault. Um, that our unit got hit but we got everything out of there it's safe and sound uh, back at my sister in law's place in their garage uh, until we get our RV back speaking of getting our RV back uh, we stopped by Keystone like I told you earlier in the video uh, we talked to uh, the lead technician and the service advisor working on it and uh, they feel like it will be complete next week so hopefully, you know, we'll get that good news next week and we'll be able to go pick it up, uh, bring it back here to West Virginia, get our stuff loaded up in it that we've reorganized, purged again. You know, those are some of the steps we as uh, full-time RVers have to do uh, on a regular basis. Uh, you know, one for weight, two, you know, if it's, if you're hauling it around, you're not using it. It's just, you know, it's wasted space, it's added weight. Um, that kind of stuff, but you know, we'll when we do get it back, I will uh, bring you guys along. And uh, like I said, I'll film what I can. Uh, they wouldn't let us take any pictures uh, at the service center where it's being worked on, but it's making good progress. The new wall is built; it's installed. Uh, you know, they're putting stuff back together. Uh, it's coming along good. I mean, it took two months to get us here, but you know, uh, you know, I don't want to put all the blame on Keystone, but that's the situation that we're in. Uh, I really appreciate the love and support you guys showed on the last video that I'll link down here about the warranty where we took it in. Uh, it means a lot to me, you know, so I'll just add, you know, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, turn on that bell notification so you don't miss uh, any of our future videos uh, hit that like button and uh, drop us a comment uh, I will reply to them if you don't believe me check the other video um, we still getting comments and it's getting viewed every day I appreciate it, it means a lot to me um, but that's going to wrap it up uh, when, you, when I know more you'll know more so stay safe out there everybody hope you guys have a happy Thanksgiving uh, I'm loading this video today the day before Thanksgiving um, so this is as real as it gets as far as YouTube land is concerned. Uh, I'll be posting this in a couple hours. So I look forward to you guys' comments, and uh, we'll see you in the next one.